Hi everyone, this is Mike. I'm going to show you the new shape dividers in Generate Blocks 1.2. It's still in the alpha phase, and you can download it from the website. I'll put the link below the video. There's some new features. This is the free version, by the way, of, of Generate Blocks, and one of them is these uh, these shape dividers. So I'll show you basically really quick uh, the settings for them, how to use them and how to kind of edit them so they look better on mobile as well. So I have this quick here I made and I've got, um, this is four layers, so basically it's four waves. The white one sits on top and um, you use the Z-index to control which ones, you know, as far as sit behind each. So the white one would be the highest Z-index, so I would set that one, if I'm using four shapes, I could set that at four and then the next one at three and then the one furthest back would be the lowest number. So let me just build this on the fly really quick. And I have, yeah, I have everything saved. This shouldn't take long. So let me drop, uh, I got a container. I'm gonna give it a whole bunch of padding. Uh, let's see, 200 and 400. Um, and then I'm going to drop that background photo in. Uh, and then I had a little, I'll pull it back. Um, and I had a kind of a opaque color behind it. Maybe like a dark bluish. That's fine. And then I had the headline and I'm going to use a grid because I want the content to kind of sit on one side. So I have the container and now a grid. And then this is where my content's going to go. And I'm going to change this to 50% because I want the headline and the button to sit over here and not go over this guy. So um, I saved that headline. I'll grab that really quick. Uh, yeah, if you notice this happens, sometimes you drag, uh, when you go to drag a block, um, into a container or something, it'll drop it below it. I believe Tom, I think the latest version, Tom fixed that as far as generate blocks. So when you drag stuff into other blocks, it doesn't fall below. I probably need to update. Um, and then the other one was I had a, I had that button. And that guy dropped below too. And I'll put him below here. All right, so I have a headline, I have this block. And let's see what we're looking at. All right, so here's the photo, here's the headline, here's that button. And now I wanna add those shapes. So when you click on the container, if you go over below now, you're gonna see this new shapes option. And when you click on shapes, you'll see add shape. And by default, it's gonna put this black wave on the bottom. And then you click the little wrench here and I'm gonna want that white, so I can just change that to white. And then these are all the wave options you have. There's different versions. Um, you can change the location to the top or bottom. You can change the height. The height would be like the basically the height of the shape. So as far as waves, if you change it to 400, you're gonna get these huge waves. So I'll change. I'll use this at 200 and I'm gonna pick this um, this first wave here like that. And then you can also flip it horizontally if you wanted to. And the width is gonna stay at 100% for desktop. The Z index is gonna control which layer it is. So because I always want this white one on top, I'm gonna to set the Z index to four. Uh, the higher the number, the higher the layer. So basically all those colors that are gonna sit behind here are gonna be uh, below four. So I'm going to add a second shape and I'll go ahead and just pick a color and I'll pull the opacity back. And this shape is actually sitting below this white one. And you'll notice if I change the height, see how it's starting to come up a little bit. And to give it, to kind of mix it up, I'll change the actual wave too. And then let's see what flipping it looks like. That doesn't look good. That's a little high. Maybe I'll 
That looks good as one of them. Maybe 180. And then I'll add another shape. And make it maybe like a brighter color. Like that. Um, this one, I'll use a different wave again. Maybe this one. And I'll make it taller. Like that. That looks kind of cool. I could flip it. Nope, I like it like that. And if I wanted him now above the blue one, I could change him to three. And I can make this guy two. And now I know that the green one is on top of the blue one. And you'll get, because it'll you know, be able to change um, the overlays a little bit. And then let's do one more. And this one I will make kind of a super bright green. And let's try, that looks good. And maybe make it a little taller, about 220. There we go. So let's take a look and see what we got. All right, so yeah, you can mess with this. I would probably smooth these out a little more. All right, so this green one, you see how it kind of ends here? If I wanted to change that, um, I could go ahead and make it wider. See how I pushed the shape a little further. So now you'll watch over here. Now it goes off to the edge of the screen and that looks a little smoother. So this actually looks kind of cool. I might change that green. It looks a little weird, but so you get the idea. You can add layers. You could use as many as you want. And just always remember the higher Z index number, um, that will be the one that sits up on top. So if I change this to five, you're going to see that guy pops up on the top layer now. So as far as the other shapes, you've got a bunch of waves and this angle is just a straight edge. And by controlling the height, you control the depth of the angle like that. Under the curves, you're going to have subtle curves and they're kind of reversed. And obviously you can flip them horizontally if you wanted to. This is kind of a half circle. This is an inverted half circle. And then you have all these triangles, which are going to be all different. If you wanted the photo to make the point, you could do that one. Or if you wanted the white to point into the photo, you could use that one. Same thing with these little triangles. You could have a white or you can have the photo making the triangle and you could change the height so it's not so gigantic like that. Um, yeah, there's you can mess with it all day. There's um, all different triple triangles. You could make it you know, super tall where you get these mega points, you could flip it. Um, you could do a, a ton of stuff. You can sit here all day if you wanted to and just make shapes. Um, some of them though, if you keep them low, like as far as the height, you can get some cool little subtle, you know, if you don't want straight edges, but you don't want to have shapes all over your site, you could do something subtle where it's just a small little bend in the photo which can look really nice sometimes, especially on like a, like a clean kind of open website. Instead of just having straight edges from section to section, you can create just slight little bends or, you know, slight little curves, just subtle little things to break up all the straight lines. Now, as far as um, mobile, all right, so the waves, most of them right here are at about uh, 100% as far as the width. So I'll put him back. And when you look at this now, uh, when you get to mobile, you'll notice all the waves kind of, you know, get real peaky. They kind of compress. And if you don't want that and you want more of this fluid, smooth um, look, you can go back to mobile and you can widen all the waves. So if I made this 200%, now you'll see, let's try 160 it's not going to be so compressed. It's going to widen it out, and I could even change the height if I wanted to, to make it a little more subtle. Same with all the other shapes. I could change the height. I can make the width to make all of these not so, um, you know, not so peaky and compressed and kind of crammed looking. And let's do this one. So there you go. You get a nice mobile representation of what you had um, here. So that looks more kind of cohesive to that as opposed to all these giant peaks and valleys of 
um, when it gets all compressed. This is kind of a, this is weird. The, if you notice, the WordPress mobile editor is not always, um, like if you go ahead and if I just pull my uh, browser, you'll notice you get um, a better representation of what it looks like. See, this looks good. And if I, if before I had changed these widths, it would have been like this. It would have been just like big kind of peaks and valleys. And um, But yeah, go ahead and um, dive in, start messing with it. And like I said, the Z-Index controls which one's on top. You can change the width and the height for mobile to get them looking good. You can use as many uh, layers as you want. And obviously you can use them on the top. You can, also, you can use them on the bottom. You can use both. So I could basically, if I wanted to, recreate this exact look on the top as well. And um, yeah, there's lots you could do. Pretty cool feature. I'll put the link to the alpha version of Generate Blocks below the video so you can uh, download it and have fun. And everybody stay safe.